Hey guys, welcome to week five. <laughs> Is it week five? Yes, I guess, I think so. Of Weight Loss Monday. I decided to bring this to you from my car. I am driving to meet a friend for lunch and I thought no better time than to film this while I'm driving, right? So don't mind all the background noise and distractions and whatnot. It's gonna be a short Weight Loss Monday. I don't have much to report. I got on the scale this morning and I knew, so I told you guys last week I was going to try and do, mix it up a little bit and I was going to try and incorporate more of a sensible diet with more fruits, more vegetables, uh, a little bit more on the carb side, but not overwhelming. I had fixed my macros, I think to be about 20% carbs, 35% stepped on the scale Monday morning I was 291.7 I stepped on it a few seconds or like a minute later after I had kind of peed and whatnot and I was 291.2 so had I taken my original weight I would be the same this week because I was 291.7 this morning and I did not I stepped on it again and I took the lower weight so I just left it at that so overall for the week it looks like I gained half a pound but I'm actually even though it sucks don't get me wrong I feel like it's a week lost had I been on keto I probably would have lost a few pounds but I'm okay not being on a strict keto diet for the rest of my life I feel like if being off of keto for a few days automatically makes you gain weight right back the second you have a cheat meal or something I don't want to be on that for the rest of my life I would rather lead a sensible life in moderation and I have done very well at incorporating more protein more vegetables fruit in my diet not a lot because I know fruit has a lot of sugar but I've been eating fruit 
and my carbs for breakfast or for lunch and I try not to have multiple fruits a day you know if I have a banana for breakfast which I have been two days this past week I had oatmeal for breakfast with um, some stevia the PB2 peanut butter powder and a little bit of no one day I had nuts the other day I had um, just banana crushed up into it and it was delicious and again sensible something that people on keto wouldn't even dream of having oatmeal for breakfast the other day I had eggs bacon and a pancake just one protein pancake but I still I had it with some strawberries on the side so it's those types of things that I've been trying to incorporate more of and it seems to have worked very nicely now that my body's kind of evening out and I feel like now that I'm kind of back to where I was this past week next week eating this way should even out and level out and my body won't be like whoa you went from no carbs to all these carbs and it's not even a lot of carbs it's just the fact that I was eating almost no carbs to more than that so that's kind of how my week went I am disappointed that I gained half a pound but in the end in the grand scheme of things it's one week to get me back on track to eating the way that I feel most comfortable eating I'm still eating within 1800 calories um, and most days this past week I ended up being between 16 and 1700 calories I didn't even eat the whole 1800 a few days I did but most days it wasn't the full 18 but that is what I have set myself up with I did work out one day this week and I was sore for a few days after that so I that made me realize I do need to get back into the gym and I do need to make more of an effort to work out and especially having more carbs and more protein, I do need to make it more of an effort for me to get back in that gym and do cardio and weightlifting. And also I've noticed even just from dropping 18 plus pounds or whatever, um, my lower stomach is a lot more saggy than it was and not even, it feels more, more jiggly like there's not as much fat in it to kind of plump it up you know so one day at a time I can't be mad I'm still doing pretty great I feel like and all I keep thinking is by the end of the year what if I'm down another 50 pounds that's what I keep telling myself like don't beat yourself up over one week even if you had a cheat meal start over the next day like don't beat yourself up I am trying so hard to practice what I preach seriously you guys have no idea how hard it is not to beat myself up when I got on the scale I almost almost wanted to cry and was like oh I freaking suck I'm going to lunch I might as well just eat what I want but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna get right back on it I'm going to stick to the plan and see how next week turns out right that's all you can do so hopefully you guys had an amazing week I'm so sorry this weight loss Monday is impromptu in the car uh, I am safely looking at the road even though I keep glancing at you guys I'm it's okay I'm totally fine I hope next week is a better week and I hope that you guys have a better week as well if you did have a bad week if you had a great week keep up the great work we can do this you guys 2018 is going to be our year so hopefully you guys enjoyed my update we'll see you next week hopefully a little lighter